guys, let's go over a basic introduction of Xrefs. We can attach an entire drawing file to the current drawing as an external reference or Xref. With Xrefs, changes made in the reference drawing are reflected in the current drawing. Think of attached Xrefs as being linked but not actually inserted into another drawing. Any changes made to a reference drawing are displayed in the current drawing when it is open or reloaded. Therefore, with Xrefs, you can build drawings without significantly increasing the file size. So here we have a live drawing that we'd like to Xref into another file. So if we save this file as Xref ground floor, just so we know what it's called when we Xref it in later. And now, with an, in a new file, we go up to Insert, then Attach, and select our ground floor. Uh, it's important that we want we have Overlay ticked, not Attach, and we want the Uniform Scale ticked, and Insertion Point set to zero. Click OK. And here we have our XREF plan. As you can see, it's one entire block, if you will, um, that has sort of a light shade to it. And we can see the file, the save path, where we are XREFing that file from. And from our external reference manager, we can refresh, detach, unload, and a lot of other stuff we can go over in the next tutorial. So if we click on our Xref and then click open Xref, it then opens up that file with the live drawing information. We can then go in and, and um, edit this file by making some changes to our drawing in the live drawing. Let's click save. Now if we go back over to our Xref file, we'll see that it has not yet updated the change that we've made to that wall. We see the little speech bubble and click on the link and our Xref has been updated with that new information. It's important to check if your Xref has been refreshed or updated. Uh, very often you can find it hasn't been updated and you need to work on the latest file so always go back and Just go back and check that there's no warning uh, symbol next to your Xref. So there you have it. That's how to insert an Xref in AutoCAD. Thank you for watching.